wanted to do a recording about um, about some videos I've watched this afternoon and it's the um, the work of uh, Dr. Gabor Mate, someone who I've come across his books and his videos for years um, years ago I think on a so I've on a Russell Brand I think Russell Brand podcast where he had him on as a guest uh, years ago and I find sometimes we come across works of people or tools or techniques that um, where we interact with them and they serve us and we make use of them and then there may be some time away from that and then you come across stuff again and um, and this is one of those things really with um, uh, it was like the struggles of my IBS and the noticing of a video on um, on my sort of YouTube homepage recommendation videos where they uh, um, or Gabble's name reminded me maybe it was a different Gabo Mate video that was on the YouTube recommendations but it reminded me of his work of when the body says no um, and funnily enough I've, I've actually purchased the ebook um, of Gabo I've not read it because I've just that's the usual struggle with reading but um, I had the, um, the inclination to search for that video or videos based on that and watch and um, and yeah so there's some link there with my IBS and that came into my focus and consciousness about the work he's done with um, with that stuff and I wanted to kind of share it because it felt what I've watched was really uh, really helpful and it would be nice if um, it, you know his work reaches anyone else so as I was watching the a set of videos um, so I just get my notebook here um, I wrote uh, I wrote some things down that I thought would um, whether I'm going to read this or study this or um, that's another process I'm sort of um, learning to do is to um, to be a bit gentle and slow in um, in whatever I'm doing um, a kind of past behaviour was to you know for instance of writing um, was to fully immerse myself in it and um, forget everything else in my life just kind of focus on that and of course everything goes out of balance and it, um, and the state of my sort of mental health where I can't afford to do that anymore I can't just afford to just lose myself fully into something and um, number one I can I get sort of completely overwhelmed and burned out and um, stressed and expectations and all of that stuff so um, <clears throat> And I, I funny enough, I did this with poetry as well. When I, it, I came, I sort of got into poetry writing probably about, probably le about six, seven years ago, maybe, maybe more than that, maybe seven or eight years ago. And at some point, I went to the library and I, I got every book I, I, I was interested in with, to write poetry. So I had these ten books or so on how to write poetry or different styles and all about this stuff and I got it out there and I barely read any of it <laughs> I um it was had the books there and I was just completely overwhelmed um in my mind I thought yeah I've got a capacity to as well as keep up with the fictional writing and all of that craft and that side of things to also expand into poetry and learn it from the roots and study it and uh, I quickly realized that it just wasn't possible even this was seven or eight years ago as my even then that my mental health was a lot 
stronger and improved or say improved it was in a uh, healthier state um, and I was able to do more things even then it was overwhelming so I'm, I'm trying to be careful now of how I um, even you know how I spend my time so uh, and what I'll do is I'll include a link to the playlist of videos that I watched this from and not all of the videos are relevant to exactly this this subject of when the body says no um, and, but um, but there are videos in there that specifically talk about this and areas around it um, and of course I think if you just were to search on YouTube Gabo Mate when the body says no I think there's I think he's made available lectures he's done about it so um, <clears throat> so it's when um, when the body says no it's basically when you're not able to say no to things whether it's to people or to obligations um, your body says it for you that's kind of the the essence of this sort of exploration into into ourselves and teaching um, that we say yes to so many things and um, as a result of that we lose connection with ourselves with our um, he uses the term of our authentic selves of what we truly need in this moment we're kind of and there's things around that as well so and I'll try and keep this brief as well it's just some a lot of this is just more it'd be good for me just to reaffirm what I've watched and as well as you know um, if there's any resonance here then that that can be seen and Gabor's teachings can uh, can be accessed as well um, So I've got here the first note is um, that I wrote from his talk was what he said here is to explore what the body is saying no to um, so and the no shows up as you know um, as a symptom of some kind ailment and could lead to a disease um, and so what is the body saying no to so I've got here which is he you know all of this is from the video and he says you know whether you're taking on too much um, am I suppressing myself uh, being you know pleasing others too much um, living life along patterns that don't express who you really are um, and so within that I, I really resonated with perhaps suppressing myself and pleasing others too much and I'm sure a lot of that can be linked to childhood as well I think that's one thing he mentions um, when we go into the deeper reasons of things they quite often um, you, you sometimes find the root of that in, in childhood and in our early years and development um, and they're just kind of programming and conditions that have just remained um, remained there and have and be, been unnoticed some, some consciously done autopilot and um, So for me, I was thinking about my IBS and, and, and that and, and suppressing myself and pleasing others too much came up a lot as well of not just being authentic in, in, in that way. There's always a sense of me um, and I'll, I'll go into this a little bit as well where sometimes there's a story behind the no, um, that, you know, a story might be that, you know, I'm here to help people that I'm you know I don't feel good enough or I don't feel inadequate so you want to feel needed or you want to feel like you know um, you can't say no to people and um, or you know for me it was in terms of the home environment it was very hard to kind of be myself in that it was, it was a lot of it was felt like a bit in a little bit of survival of not being able to kind of express myself and my emotions or um, be connected with myself there was a definitely a big disconnection there um, <clears throat> so the symptom or, or disease is is the beginning of an exploration so for me you see IBS so it's not it's looking not looking at IBS as just as as what he said it's not just getting rid of the symptom and making it better it's realizing what's what's underneath it um, and so in a sense it's it's beginning 
of an exploration and an investigation of how you live your life and how you might live your life differently in a more healthy fashion um, so um, and of course the exploration and investigation you know happens slowly it's not something that can be done at all at once he's looking at life slowly and I think that's one thing he he advises on as well to be patient and compassionate with yourself as you explore these things to not be judging um, but it's a, it's a, a gentle exploration and, and a gradual one um, and keeping things simple as well just maybe situation by situation or taking a day and or a week and seeing how you know um, how this is sort of uh, taking part in 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 our lives um, um, the next uh, note I've got here is about authenticity and I've got here um, authentic means listening to your needs in that moment D these are my own words I kind of pulled the understanding from what was said so being connected with yourself so a simple example is you know someone may ask you to um, to go to a party for example a birthday party and perhaps your a no comes up for you immediately you're thinking no I don't really feel that way like there'll be alcohol there and loud music and stuff it'd be too much for me and um, but then but then you don't say no because whatever well, stories behind that like you won't be a good friend or you'll feel too guilty and um, then you say yes and go to it but then the body kind of pays the price like you may have a really bad sleep you may have a headache by going there you may feel very stressed and tired and I'll, I'll go into that um, a little bit in a, in a moment what I've written there but so authenticity is actually really listening to um, and being present with yourself and listening to what's needed right now because quite often we that I find that connections lost through immediately we jump to okay do want to feel guilty if I say no um, or I want to be a good person and say yes and but very you know quite often that connection to the body and to the mind which are connected to you know sitting with yourself and actually just really considering no I don't feel like I'm, I'm up to doing that or you may feel it in the body like if your body's extremely tired and you think I, I really can't but I don't want to let them down and so there's that sort of aspect of authenticity to be very truthful with how you are in that moment um, and the way to get back to authenticity is to notice ways when you're not authentic um, and notice the impact of not saying no so this is where you can look at the, the symptoms of, of perhaps recent events as well recent situations so there may be you know, you may have noticed times when a no hasn't been said and the situation's happened or you've done something and when, you know, I've got a list of things here of like tiredness, headache, um, lack of sleep or no sleep, stressed, um, the emotional impact that the um, not saying no could have had, you know, depression could have triggered more depression or aggravated the symptoms, anxiety, um, resentment could have been formed about the no. And then going into the story you can ask okay, what is the story behind the no as I said I've got an example here saying you know if I say no to this request or this invitation or whatever the, the situation is that you know then I'll be a bad person by saying that and um, and he and Gabriel kind of invites this sort of work to take place where you you kind of um, you dig you sort of uncover all of this up so in the place of disconnection there's just simply the old sort of patterns of habit and behavior and stories and he's now sort of um, going underneath that surface and really as I say going into connection to ourselves what do we really want um, so after, you know by asking the question what is the story behind the no and then I then ask once you've answered that and think is this really true am I a bad person for not doing this and um, I've got here bring the story into the open then you can drop it 
because quite often you'll see the um, you'll know if it's true or not um, in that moment there may be situations perhaps that it may be true um, where there's a very important situation and you think you know what I do have a tiny bit of energy I, I, I if I don't go to that then maybe that guilt is actually signaling that I can I, I can do it and I just you know so but quite often maybe the case is that these stories are from our childhood are the old stories and and once you bring it into the open you can see the the falseness in it and and you question it and and with that they kind of dissolve themselves they drop away um so that was kind of the essence um of that he, um gabble goes into guilt as well which i won't uh, read the notes of that um here but there's a part of this set of videos he goes into dealing with guilt but um but yeah that's just a main sort of um it was really sort of helpful watching those this morning um it's early afternoon now and I, I have invested a good amount of time watching that and um i'm trying to be aware of um now it's um, a good balance for me to kind of do other things in the day now and not sort of automatically another video came on of his and i was tempted to watch that and i was kind of i recognized that pattern you know knowing that I've, be good to balance my day with other activities and other things that i need to do um but yeah something just in me wanted to really share um what, what i learned and um and so just to hear the impact of when the um so when the body says no um and that can show up with um Yeah, I think that can show up. I think you mentioned addiction as well, because something he really focuses on addictive behaviours or habits. Um and saying no to those as well, exploring because often I think what Gabor says is, you know, it's it's done as a way of sort of disconnecting from ourselves. Um you talk about that authenticity in that moment, you're kind of it's a, it covers that stuff up. Um whether it's you know, scrolling on your phone or social media or substances or you know any other behavior addictions um it kind of it covers that stuff up instead of actually really asking our body and mind what's needed right now because often that so i think what gabble was referring to is that in that moment maybe you don't want to do that you know um that uh habitual or addictive behavior You've, your body and mind don't need it but you're still compulsed to do it anyway even though there's a negative downside to it um, so we're kind of connecting with ourselves and really asking what we're, what's needed um, there's almost a, a sort of healing in that uh, whether it's you know a disease or symptoms of things and, and life so um, yeah so I'm going to continue sort of um, there's a balance here of not being too obsessive about this and sort of you know reading this dozens of times and, and exploring it but maybe i can gently um sort of keep this with me and as a as a gentle thing in the background um so i don't obsess over it and um but yeah i think what i've listened to is it's enough and it really uh, corresponds to the spiritual sort of teachings that i i listen to and um and the journey i the spiritual journey that i share on my podcast is it all links in very well because to be to be in the present moment is to to fully embrace everything that's going on in the present so all whatever thoughts and emotions are happening it's all um, nothing is pushed away um, everything is kind of uh, but you're um, but you stay in your as I used the word authenticity but that could also mean in your in your presence in the present moment where you're not sort of losing yourself in a um, a story or thought pattern um, which leads to a, a behaviour of distraction um, which covers up what you know what's actually wanted and needed right now um, 
so it doesn't feel like I've explained <laughs> done any justice to this um, stuff but hopefully if there's any curiosity about about this um, you know Google Gavel Mate and lots of his other lectures are on there as well he talks a lot about trauma um, and this is uh, more specifically about um, issues in the body and um, an understanding when when the body is saying no so meaning that there's there's something misaligned there where you're not listening to that like, you're listening to your body and your um, and what's going on in the mind um, and and connected to ourselves and being authentic with ourselves so that's usually a sign when that's not happening so um, yeah so I find that um, really useful something I really needed to hear as well because I feel like with my IBS symptoms getting more severe and prolonged um, and as I was sort of jotting that down um, it was a gradual realization that I feel like I have been um, gradually over the years um, been a lot better in trying to check in on my needs and especially with difficult relationships where I've had to um, cut contact and end end sort of connections and um, in that way um, and before perhaps I would have um, and I did I kind of suffered through them um, because I didn't want them to feel you know I didn't want to feel guilty about them I didn't want them to feel bad um, I didn't want to cause them pain as well so maybe that's still guilt on my part as if they do I'd feel guilty about that and and I think out of the severity of my mental health it kind of you know again probably the body talking here um, as well um, that I had to I was almost forced into um, having to kind of use the no instead of doing it way earlier where you know wouldn't have had that impact on me um and like the body paying the price um and my mind in this case as well um so yeah because at first when listening to this i thought yeah i've really not connected with myself and i realized slowly that there is some connection of myself where i you know um i've been you know been able to say no more I still really struggle I still um, have a sense of people pleasing a lot and I need to just balance that because there's a natural um, I think Gabor said it's a natural human sort of instinct to be kind and compassionate to help um, and maybe at times mine is a bit it's um, there's times yeah when I'm not perhaps connected with myself um, and I'm saying yes um, so that's something that would be good for me to work through um, and understand and um, especially in connection with with my um, with the IBS symptoms as well um, and and he does talk about the gut a little bit as well not not in the sense of the um, in the IBS but just generally the how the gut can really sense an environment and send signals back up to you know back up to the brain and um and listening listening to that as well listening to when people are say have a gut feeling to kind of be saying no there's actually in the gut and it's more than just a digestive you know system in there there's there's also an intuitive and something that just is aware of things and um send messages as well and information about that can inform you know um, inform your your kind of authentic process so when you know when a no is needed or when you are able to say yes you know you can it gives you those signals that yes this is safe and I want to do this and I feel like I want to do this or you know whether it's a, a no I don't want to do this um, so yeah, that's my uh, <laughs> first part of the day. I do feel a bit tired because um, I was kind of wanting to just complete the uh, the videos there and watch it. And um, and I find one thing that's been useful as well, and that 
um, when I was jotting these notes down, I was trying not to overanalyze them and really like force them in me and then embed them. But I feel like I've just kind of let them settle there and given them some space. And I feel like that's useful because it kind of finds its own footing in me as well, where I don't have to like immerse myself in it and know, you know, perfect meaning of everything I've written down and um, and embrace it and fully, you know, utilize it every second of every moment, which is sometimes what what my thought process goes through um that like you know i can't forget this now i need to remember it and and well also but just knowing that just kind of the nutrients of that will sort of whatever needs to absorb will absorb and i don't need to remember every sort of every sort of detail of these sort of teachings that i can um just give them space and um allow them to digest and process just like food almost and and um, so maybe that's a, a good thing for me to do um, it's been a lot of rain today as well so I've, I've not felt bad I, I didn't go out this morning um, and I'm not sure if I'm going to pop out today um, um, and I'm going to just maybe <laughs> maybe the work started already like check in with myself to see if um yeah, to see if if that's something I feel like I'm up to doing, um, and yeah, I think I'm going to. Um, I haven't listened to some frequency music today, so I'm going to do that now because um, I feel like that's maybe a good sort of routine to um, to keep up in a sort of gentle way. And it gives me just a bit of a time out as well from from kind of this sort of stuff where I'm act actively engaging in something and with the frequency music I can just sort of um, allow that to sort of you know um, do what it needs to do and um, and gives me a bit of a time out as well and something different I feel like that will help now that I've kind of you know sort of mentally engaged and. In, in other ways emotionally engaged in these sort of things now I kind of and give those sort of give that a, a rest for a bit while I uh, sort of just um, absorb some frequency music and I'm also I'm going to continue reading the depression cure um, book as well I did a I did some yesterday while listening to some of the music subliminals I was listening to and um um, I might do that again today um, um, food is a bit difficult today as well I, I did make some lentils yesterday and usually my stomach is okay with them so I was kind of really hoping it would be okay and, it, and it, um, my stomach did react to them so I ended up uh, managing to put most of it in a container to, to fit in the freezer um, and I threw, um, I had a very small amount so I thought it's not risk eating that so, um, but I managed to freeze a good portion of it not knowing when I can eat that but uh, um, so it just means that I need to f kind of figure out food today. Um, I was going to just make a simple pasta, just some, just like a to make my own sort of tomato sauce um, but I need, it means I do need to get out to get some uh, a can of tomatoes um, so um, that's something I need to kind of either work towards doing and um, I've noticed not, not going out this morning and it's kind of knocked, not knocked my confidence but it makes it harder to get out now um, knowing I've kind of stayed in like that sense of wanting to kind of stay dry and warm once I've stayed in there and um, maybe that's okay because I, I, I know I've, I didn't get a good sleep last night again and I haven't been sleeping well um, I, I think I had a brief spell of a bit better sleep and I managed uh, the temperature and things but um, as of late my sleeping hasn't been too good um, part of that's a time change as well with the uh, clocks going forward um, so yeah I'm trying not to be hard on myself about that about not going out and um, 
and I'll see if I have the energy to to go out now. Um, I think something I'm feeling right now is more vulnerable, like I'm more sensitive to sort of noise and people right now because I haven't gone out this morning. So I feel like even in a short period of time, sometimes my sensitivity can feel like it notches up even more and it feel a bit more anxious and stressed to go outside and put myself through that. So I need to, um, yeah, I need to decide or figure out if that's something I'm able to do and if it will be too stressful to push myself through that. Um, which again links up to, you know, some of the sort of awareness of the body and um, of what's needed as well. Um, yeah, so um, maybe I had a sense of just watching something this evening, like a, mu a film or something this evening would be good to switch off. So like, I'm going to do some other things this afternoon as well as the reading. Um, I'm going to do some, got, I've got back in a bit of tarot yesterday. Um, something I've been kind of exploring with um, on and off for the last maybe couple of years or so, mostly off. <laughs> There's been lots of time where I haven't touched it, and um, so um, I may look at that today as well. I've got a feeling to want to um, engage with that, and and again doing it in a gentle way because um, before you know I've got this book, um, Seventy Eight Degrees of Wisdom, which is a kind of a quite a big book about tarot stuff, and I, the same the same approach that I did approach. I wanted to really fully immerse myself of everything about tarot and again it got overwhelming and so I'm trying to um to be aware of that pattern and um, even though I feel the energy of wanting to kind of do something and it's nice to have that feeling of wanting to do something and there's a curiosity about it there's an, maybe enjoyment and a fulfilling aspect of doing that um, but just to be gentle with it so you know just give it you know um, um to be patient with it as well, knowing that I don't have to like, you know, s sort of immerse myself for the next month or two to kind of fully um, take advantage of this uh, desire to want to connect with it. And so I'm going to definitely um, sort of um, be gentle with that and just 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 uh, give it a certain amount of time and energy, and then um, and then. Um, give it some space as well just like with you know this morning and these sort of what I the videos I watched from Gabor this morning that'd be something I can just you know um, let it just sort of settle uh, and yeah I can enjoy the other activities of today um, yeah and I think one way or another I'm sure I hope you'll figure out sort of something to have for dinner um, so I'm just going to have some porridge. I'll check the time now. Actually, yeah. I'll probably have some porridge soon. <laughs> just been sometimes it's been my lunch for. Um, it's a really safe meal to have. So sometimes I kind of have that for lunch. Um, um, yeah, and I think generally things with this sort of new routine and new you know new way of things are still again it's being gentle with that as well because sometimes I can like this morning I felt a, uh, maybe a bit last night before bed I felt a bit hyper and a bit exhilarated like you know um, and it wasn't a healthy energy um, to have and I think part of that that sort of restless agitation or that sort of hyper sort of a bit of manic energy was probably a reaction to what I'm doing now to um, maybe just a sense of wanting to be more sure about it and um, I don't know if my body or my energy is overcompensating for how I'm coping right now and I'm I'm doing you know I feel like I'm doing some really positive things and perhaps my energies want to kind of overcompensate or there's a reaction to that as well sometimes to um, maybe I think I don't know if there's a friend said this to me or uh, something I came across in books or both but sometimes there's a sense of when there's a change in something even if it's positive 
sometimes it takes a moment for the body mind to get used to that and to not it wants it wants to react and get back to old patterns like you know um, for example self-sabotage is a big big one for me um, which i often do and especially when i'm doing something that's positive i think oh it means i can because i'm doing so well i can engage in this behavior not completely consciously realizing that that would drag me back into a whole host of other things it won't just be that single activity it will be that single activity the color and the the consequences of that will change the whole shading of the day and it won't be just just i can engage in that single thing i used to enjoy that probably wasn't good for me and so there's awareness around that as well um and i think gentle sort of um i did a tarot reading yesterday and one of the cards it evoked the words like you know like sort of gently harnessing this energy um it was for like um it was for uh, for mental energy and ideas and things like that and it was a uh, what i read from that was to be cautious about it and it really makes sense with my past patterns of whenever sort of going into a new craft or activity of just sort of diving in there and you know and it's now it feels like i'm doing it in a bit more of a controlled gentler way and it feels like that that reading really helped yesterday to kind of remind me of that and and to pr and to practice it so that's good um just wonder if there's anything um i can do to improve my sleep tonight and um i think one one of the things i can do is get off my you know if i am watching something to have some space between watching a film and bedtime so i'm not just sort of you know watching a film up to bedtime and then getting myself into bed but having some downtime quiet time before sleeping um, whether it's listening to asmr or you know uh, but it's, it doesn't involve sort of any sort of stimulation in like if i'm watching you know besides asmr like other youtube videos sometimes it gets me hyper and i get in I get inspired and sometimes that gets the engine started as well and I kind of want to um a friend said this to me yesterday actually when I and I really related like sometimes you know late at night I, I just get the energy to want to not go to bed and carry on with stuff I get really inspired and so yeah it's good to have awareness around that because I think maybe that would help and um I think besides that um I'm doing everything I can for sleep I think so temperature I'm getting well I've got a you know consistent bedtime taking the 5 HTP which is which, which will help um which help with sleep as well um and having the time before bed so to kind of wind down and usually the lighting's low as well um yeah so hopefully um maybe that one thing will just give me a little bit of extra help so that would be good um yeah um so yeah now frequency music and i'm just gonna enjoy a bit of uh sort of coming down from a lot of the mental uh activity of stuff of this morning and engaging so that would be nice and yeah try and enjoy enjoy the rest of of my day